Hello. Hello, this is going to be my beginner video for the grandma's favorite dishcloth. Thank you for coming by to my channel. So I started knitting on one of my lives a little bit ago and I thought I need to make a tutorial of how to start the dishcloth. I'm going to turn the music down just a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice to have a little bit of music there. So, I don't know if you can even hear it. I have my microphone on. I can hear it. So anyway, we have, in order to make a dishcloth, you will need size 5 needles is really good. Um, you can use either the straight needles or you can use the circular needles. I have these straight needles right here. They work just fine. Or I also have the circular needles, which these are good too. You can get these online. These are like a bamboo with um, plastic here. You can get these online, a whole set of all the different sizes for a pretty, pretty low price. So um, these are just cheap. These are not anything really special. So what you're going to do is you get size 5, and then you also want to get this yarn this is a cotton yarn and it comes about this size and it this one is sugar and cream you want a cotton okay this isn't the regular yarn for this type of dishcloth it's a little sturdier and it can withstand a lot of washing and a lot of usage so you will get you will be able to knit two out of one ball pretty much Okay, so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to start. And I'm going to assume that you have never knit before. So you're going to get your yarn and you are going to make a slip knot. Okay, so to make a slip knot, you're going to just hold it up like this, cross it, and then you're going to bring the middle one to the middle and then you're going to let it come through. Okay, so there's your slip knot, and there you go. So it's really cool how that works. Okay, I'll try that once, once again. Okay, so hold it up like this, and then you can turn it so that they cross, and then you're going to bring the bottom one through the loop, and then just pull on that loop. Okay, so that should be adjustable, and you're going to put it onto your needle like this. Okay. So here you have it on your needle, and then you're going to take your other needle, which, let's see. I'm going to use this needle even though there's something on it. I'm just going to use the end because it's okay. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to start your first stitch for knitting. Okay, so to knit, you are going to, I'm going to turn around this way. Maybe that will be better. You're going to go in through the loop to the back. So you're going to go in the loop to the back of the other needle. You are going to grab the end that is not, the, the end that is attached to your ball, go around the back. That loop is going to go through this loop and for, you are going to cast on. So you're going to put it right back on the needle. In behind the needle, around through the loop, back on. Now for grandma's favorite, you are going to cast on four stitches. Okay, so I have four stitches cast on now, and I just basically knitted it onto the needle. Okay, that is one way of casting on. And so the neat thing about grandma's dishcloth is that you only have to start with four. So you're going to start with four, and then what you're going to do, the whole pattern is knit two. So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go in through the hole, but this time you're going to go off. You're going to pull it off onto the other needle. So I'm going to knit all four stitches this way. Okay, all four stitches are now knitted through one time and you can pull gently one rule about knitting is you never pull it hard you never pull it so that it's really tight okay so now we're going to knit 
one, two, and every row you are going to knit two, yarn over, then you're going to knit two more. So yarn over is just that you are not going to knit that stitch. You're going to just like go over the needle as if you're going to stitch, but you're not going to. That's called a yarn over. And what's going to happen there is you are going to be making a little lace pattern along the edge of your dishcloth. And every time you do a row, you will be increasing one stitch. All right, so I'm increasing one stitch. And so every time that you have yarned over, you are going to have a little hole. So I will show you what that looks like. So this is one that I have knitted a little ways up. So you will have a little hole along the edge every place that you yarn over. So this is the beginning of a dishcloth and you're going to be making a triangle. You're going to continue with that pattern until you have 42 stitches on your dishcloth. So I'm going to go one, two, yarn over, and then you will knit to the end of the row. Now these needles are a little bit bigger than the fives, so the stitch is a little bit looser. You know, you can kind of adjust that however you want to. If you like it a little looser, you can make them a little looser. If you like it tighter, you know, you can do it tighter. The thing about knitting is you want to continue practicing until you have a really good comfortable way of knitting. You don't want to be too tight on the needles and you don't want to be too loose. I like the bamboo because the neat, the yarn does not like slip too much and it's very comfortable to knit with. So that's why I got a full set of these. I got um, size like zero all the way up to 15 or something. Size one or two are really thin and they are great for making socks. The larger needles are great for making scarves and things with bigger stitches. Okay, so there you go. And you will continue that pattern until you get about 42 stitches. And then what you're going to do is you're going to decrease. Now this right here is an entire dishcloth that I made and so you're going to get a triangle to start with and then when you have to start decreasing you're going to start seeing it take the shape of a square okay so what i'm going to do is you can work on that and if you have any problems you can go ahead and send me a message just type down below and i will get your message in my gmail account or you can find me you know on facebook or whatever but i am going I, since i am on the decreasing row i am going to go to the end of this row and then i'm going to show you how to decrease so you go all the way to the end of the row and every row now since i'm on the decreasing side i will decrease okay so in order to decrease you are going to knit one then you're going to knit two together okay so that means that you are going to take your needle go through two stitches go around the back so you're going to knit that just like it's one stitch but you put two together you're going to yarn over just like you did before then you're going to knit two together again so knit one knit two together yarn over knit two together and then knit to the end of the row now when you're on the decreasing end you may see that your triangle isn't exactly like the other one so if you have to do a knit two together somewhere in the middle to kind of make your square more even you can kind of eyeball it that way if you feel like 
your triangle is going to be a little bigger than the other triangle, just go ahead and decrease somewhere in the middle. You won't even be able to tell. When you get to the very end of the project, you will end up with four stitches, just like we started with. And when you have four stitches at the very end, you will knit them and then you will cast off. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to cast off on this other project. So I'm just going to knit to the end of this row. So these dishcloths are really great for, uh, like my daughter when she got married, I made her like 20 of them to go in her kitchen and you can, you know, use one for a couple days, throw it in the wash, get out another one or use one a day, however you want to do it. Um, and they wash very well in your laundry and they they are very sturdy or you can just use them for a decoration if you want it doesn't have to be you know a dishcloth you can use them for face cloth maybe you could make you know one color for the shower one color for the kitchen uh, so in order to decrease uh, cast off okay I am I'm not really at the casting off stage. I am actually, I would have to have four stitches, but I'm just going to demonstrate casting off real quick. So in order to cast off, you're going to knit one, knit two. When you have two on the needle, you're going to pull the bottom one over the top, kind of like when you're crocheting, and then you're left with one. Okay, so you knit one, then you're going to put your needle in you're going to put your needle in the back stitch. You're going to put it in the back stitch and you're going to pull it over the top of the first stitch. Okay, so anything that you're making, like I have a student who's making a large square and he's not ending up with only four stitches, but he figured out how to cast off. You know, if you have 40 stitches, you do it the same way. You knit two, then bring the bottom over the top, so you always have one stitch in that on the other needle. And then at the very end, you'll have only one stitch, and then you pull the yarn through, and you cut it. And do not, like, unravel it. <laughs> Just cut it, and you pull it through, and then you weave through the ends at the very end. So on this one, I've already weaved through the ends, but like on this one, I have an end right here. So I am going to take a plastic needle like this. You can get these at Walmart, pretty cheap. And this one's a little large for what I'm doing. I have to get some smaller ones. But you just put your yarn in here and then you weave it in. You go about two inches forward and one inch back. And that will lock your yarn in place. So if you have any questions, please go ahead and message me down below or find me on Facebook. And thank you for watching. And I'm going to do some live knitting as well. But I just want to make this tutorial so you can watch it and let me know if you have any questions. All right. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.